Yo, what's up guys, Theo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flatten a multi-dimensional or nested array uh, using JavaScript and recursion. So, I wouldn't say use this that much, but say we'll have you know, some data and it's just some numbers, right? And, uh, you know, we're going to keep uh, adding on to it. Six, right? And then seven, eight, nine. So we just want to flatten this. So that our end result is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? That's what our uh, end result wants. Cool. So with that, let's go and look at how we can do this. So I'm going to create a function called flatten, and this is going to accept an array. And what we're going to do is we're going to say. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, using recursion, is we're going to loop through our array. But first, we're going to create a new array. So we're not using reduce. Uh, it's not completely functional. But uh, so anyways, we're going to create um, an array. I'm just going to call it flat map, right? So we're flattening everything. And now I'm going to do a for each on the array. Say array dot for each function. And this is going to return to us a value. And here's, here comes the interesting part. Here's the check. The check is if array dot is array, if this actual value is uh, an array itself, okay, then we need to uh, sort of unbox this, okay? So what we can do here is we can say flat map equals flat map dot concat. So basically we're aggregating the results of flat map um, with this value, um, but we need to unwrap this value, so we need to run it through flatten as well. So we can say flatten with value, okay? And then I'll unbox that. Otherwise, here's the other condition. Um, if it's not, right, if we're just looking at a value itself, um, then what we want to do is just push on to the flat map the value, okay? And at the very end of this, we are going to here, we will return our flat map. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually let me just log it out here. Once I log flat map, let's try it out, right? So we can say flatten with one, two, three, and let's run this. What do we get? We get one, two, three. Um, so, and now let's try it with our data and see if this actually works. Okay, so we're getting it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let me just do this. We'll save our result equals flatten data, and let's log out the result. Okay, let's run that. Awesome. So we've flattened um, basically a lot of arrays here, and you can make this even more infinitely complex, right? So we've literally flattened everything in here. Like you could make this. You know, insanely deep. So, you know, there you go. And uh, let's just look at how this works at a very basic level. So let me let me get rid of this. We'll take it back to what we had one and two, and then we just do three and four. So let's look at this, right? So our end result, we just want this one, two, three, four. So the first time um, we come in here with our array, we're looping through, and our first value here. Uh, right up for each we can look at this. Let's just log out What the value is okay, and then I can show it to you guys So our first value that we come across is this actual array It's an array itself and it's saying is this an array? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's concatenate um, The result of flatten with this array. Okay, so now it's going to come back in here and it's going to do it with one It's going to push it onto here. And it's also going to push on two. Okay, I'm just going to go to three and four it's going to do the flatten again. It's going to push on three and four. And finally, we're going to return a flat map with one, two, and three, four. So to be honest, guys, I never really understood how to do that um, until just a little while ago. I just looked it up. Um, obviously, you know, you can you can do something like this, right? So we have just uh, an array that's like this. We have one and two, and we have a nested array, four and five. We could do something like this. We could do... Uh, Flattened, and uh, we could give it a 
reduce function, function, accumulator, and value. And then we want to end up with uh, just an array, right? But we could do it array.cat value. And this sort of works, right? So if we go ahead and log out what flattened is here, we get one, three, four, five. And that gives you the illusion, right? Like, you know, this works, everything, blah, blah, blah. And it, it kind of works, except for now look at this, right? When we start nesting even deeper, there you go. That's where it ends. Because all we're doing is we're concatenating on whatever value it is, right? So this isn't unboxing this at all. So, um, yeah, guys, thought I would share that with you. Let me take it back to what we had and so you guys can look at the solution. Um, so, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. And as always, um, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.